Hey, what's up, guys? Happy New Year! Welcome back to another After the tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm gonna show you how you can easily create this nice looking grunge typography animation. So, let's get started, okay, guys? I'm gonna start with the new comp and let's go with this grunge typography animation. And I'm gonna go with full HD resolution 24 frames per second and 10 second duration. And let's go with the background color black and hit OK. Now, we need to add our text. So, go to toolbar and select the type tool and type what do you like i'm gonna type crunch and i'm gonna use this uh, quick silver phone and i'm gonna press ctrl alt home on my keyboard to center the anchor point like that let's use the line tool to align it to the middle of this composition something like this okay and i will go with the white color for now and we will change it later now we need to add our animation so i'm gonna press s to scale this down like that and let's go with 75 scale and then again press r select this and then press r and create a new keyframe and go one second forward and set this to minus one something like this now let's check the animation and i'm gonna select this keyframe and press f on my keyboard and let's go to graph editor and give something like this and let's check this out as you can see it bit more smooth now let's add some effect to this text so i'm gonna create a new adjustment right click new and adjustment and i'm gonna call this time displacement go to effect and preset and then search for time displacement effect and double click to apply it and here we need to add some texture to the composition so i'm gonna go to project window and here you can find the three texture you guys can download this from link in the description okay for this i'm gonna use this dark concrete texture so i'll right drop it to the composition right there and we don't need to see it so i'm gonna just disable it and go to time displacement and go to fit control and set the time displacement layer as our dark concrete text like that now i'm gonna set the, also set the source to effect and mask now as you can see this give us this nice looking grungy texture i'm gonna set this to 0 0.5 yeah not too much as you can see and now i'm gonna just add a warp effect so select your text layer and then search for warp and here under the distort category you can find this warp effect so i'm gonna just apply it here i will go to warp style and i'm gonna set this as a twist okay this one give us really nice looking twist effect as you can see and I'm gonna set this to paint as 100 like that. You guys just go here and just play with the different settings, okay? I will leave it up to you like that. If you check the animation, as you can see, you can get this nice looking effect. I will also set the warp axis as vertical. Let's check this out. Yeah, looks cool. And you can also just select this uh, grunge specs and then increase the scale something like this i will fill this composition with the text like so it will take a little bit more time to render and yeah let's go to three seconds and then press n on your keyboard now perfect now let's pre-compose this text there so i'm gonna circle all this right click and pre-compose and i'm gonna call this text let's hold it and make sure you select this move all attributes into a new composition and hit ok now as you can see it in the new composition right now so let's go back to the main composition grunge typography animation this one and here we need to drag this uh, other two texture and uh, i have a noise texture so i'm gonna just drag and drop here and this will be our background so right click new solid and let's go this pg for background and hit ok drag it down and i have this noise texture let's press s to scale it down something like this and then let's animate this texture so i'm gonna select this recipe and create a new keyframe let's go to uh six frame forward and give a different position like so if you want you can just select this and shift s and then increase the scale okay and then select this and press p again and yeah let's give rotation you can find the rotation tool here or you can just press w on your keyboard and and then b and give a position go to six frame forward again and give a different uh placement like this i will speed this up process and just copy the first keyframe ctrl c ctrl v 
like that okay perfect now i'm going to select this key or keyframe and then hold ctrl alt and click it will turn this keyframe into whole keyframe and it will give us this nice looking stop motion animation okay looks pretty cool now we need to add a paper texture so i'm going to drag and drop this paper texture right here and make sure it in the top of the text placeholder okay and then fragment this paper texture to text placeholder go here and you can find this pick pip icon and just pick pip this to the text placeholder as you can see now we can find this rice snooking paper text effect as you can see and you can also just animate the paper texture just like as we did to the noise texture okay and now we need to add some color so i'm gonna go to paper texture and search for tint and i'm gonna double click to apply it and go to map white to whatever color you like i'm gonna go with this light green color which is really nicely blend with the black color and i'm gonna hit ok you can also reduce the text opacity of the noise texture just press t select this texture and press t and then reduce it and yeah that's basically it now we can also add some posterized time so i'm gonna create a new adjustment layer and search for poster and stay double click and set this to 2f and i'm gonna call this posterize line and that's basically it. that's how you create this really nice looking grunge typography animation i hope you guys like this tutorial if you do please don't forget to hit the last subscribe button and like button also thank you so much for the patreon supporters and yeah i will see you guys in the next one peace